Many of you have probably had to do it at one time or another in your working life. And if not, odds are you will at one point. Yes, we are talking about quitting your job. In most cases, it's done the very conventional way of handing in a letter or meeting with a boss privately. However, it doesn't have to be that way. As these following examples show, quitting your job can be as creative, funny, or over the top as you want it to be. From people who just plain hated their jobs, or bosses, to workers who needed a change of pace, these I quit moments are pretty impressive. 420. There is perhaps no more dramatic way to quit your job than to do it while actually on the job. Charlo Green, a reporter for a new network in Anchorage, Alaska, had had enough of the on-air life and decided to pursue her dream of legalizing marijuana. To the shock of her coworkers and indeed everyone watching, Green announced her resignation on live television and finished it all off by dropping the F-bomb before walking off set. The icing on the cake. Chris Holmes was a worker at Stansted Airport in England. When he was 31 years old, Holmes became a father and it changed his outlook on his life. Wishing to spend more time with his family and to work a job that he actually liked, he quit his job in a rather unique and tasty way. You see, Holmes was also a cake designer and his resignation letter came in the form of a white iced cake with black text icing. His coworkers may have been sad to see him go, but we imagine the cake helped them get over it a bit quicker. We thank you for flying. Steven Slater had served 20 years in the airline business and we're guessing this ex-flight attendant had finally had enough of the pre-flight speeches and pushy customers. Having just finished a flight from Pittsburgh to JFK, Slater decided to quit in a dramatic fashion. The JetBlue employee grabbed the intercom, berated rude passengers, and then grabbed a beer and slid down the emergency chute to unemployment. His stunt got headlines everywhere, but resulted in a $10,000 fine and one year of probation. Telling it as it is. In 2012, Greg Smith had finally had enough of his job and decided to quit. Smith, an executive director at Goldman Sachs, had joined the company fresh out of school. However, as his resignation letter posted in the New York Times put it, the company had become toxic. Smith's letter is quite damning and highlights the various reasons he needed to quit. From trying to sell clients a product they don't need to referring to your customers as Muppets, Smith couldn't take it anymore and decided to share his final thoughts on the matter very publicly. What I really think. If you've watched enough news, then you know that every news network has their own agenda or political angles. Liz Wall found this out while working for Russia Today, a news network funded by the Russian government, which presents stories in a strongly pro-Russian light. In 2014, Wall decided she had had enough of the way Russia Today was reporting on events in Ukraine. While on the air, she voiced her concerns and announced that she was quitting. Dance it all away. As a video producer for a Taiwanese animation firm, Marina Schifrin had become disillusioned with her job. Looking to end her role in the business, Schifrin decided to produce one last video, which ended up going viral. The resignation video showed the 25-year-old dancing around the office to Kanye West's Gone. Meanwhile, in on-screen text, Schifrin explained she was quitting because her boss only cared about quantity and the job was taking up too much of her time. The resignation turned a lot of heads, including Queen Latifah, who offered her a role on her own talk show. With a little style. Phil Sipka didn't hate his job as a barista in Chicago, but it was time for something else. Rather than just quit like most of us, he decided to go out in style. With help from The Steve Harvey Show, he presented his resignation with a barbershop quartet backing him up. People criticized the whole thing as being fake, but it turns out it was staged to a degree. As Sipka's co-workers knew he was coming in to quit, they just didn't realize his resignation would be delivered in such a manner. A beat we can march to. Some people want something really over the top when they quit, with all the bells and the whistles. Joey DeFrancesco decided to make that dream a reality. Tired of working at a hotel in Rhode Island, the 23-year-old decided to quit in a way he had always wanted, backed up by a marching band. With the whole thing on video, DeFrancesco is shown handing in his resignation to a former boss before marching out to the music of a brass band. A massive audience. Imagine telling your boss that you were quitting in front of 100 million people. 
Gwen Dean did just that. The machine engineer of 18 years was tired of her job and wanted to pursue her dream of puppetry. She teamed up with GoDaddy and during a commercial which aired during the Super Bowl, Gwen let her boss know she was done. We can only imagine what her boss and coworkers thought when they first saw her on television and then second, delivering notice that she was leaving in a very public way. Strange, but epic. If delivering your resignation backed by a band isn't enough, how about doing it all while dressed up? One unnamed man posted a rather humorous video of himself quitting from an insurance company dressed as a banana. While the choice of costume and the quality of video are questionable, we think the mariachi band gave the whole thing a fun and festive feel. It also struck a note with every person around the world who hated their job and dreamed of quitting in such an over-the-top manner. Thanks for watching our video, folks. Let us know what you thought of all these epic quitting scenarios down below in the comments. And while you're here, check out these other videos and give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks.